Hi everyone, it's svgcoop.com with another training short for you. Um, this morning I'm in Illustrator and I'm going to create a wavy border that you can use for cards or scrapbook pages or whatever you want. Um, it's very easy to do. So I'm just going to grab my rectangle tool here. I'm just going to draw a rectangle. And, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I want to make the fill red and my stroke I'm going to bring down to zero. I'm just making it red so it's easier to see. And then on the top right corner here, I'm going to make the size 11 and a half inches wide by four inches tall. And I just want to center that a little bit. Okay, next, grab my eraser tool. And you can change the size of your eraser. You can see my circle there. I can, um, right bracket makes it bigger, left bracket makes it smaller. And I'm just going to draw a random wave going through my page. So I'm just going to just like that. With my white arrow, I'm going to click off of the image, click on the top, hit Command-8, click the bottom and hit Command-8. And now I have two pieces that I can either, uh, I can take the top one and I'm just going to make it a different color. Um, with my black arrow tool, I can rotate it around and holding the shift key will keep it so that it goes straight. I can put it on top of the other like this. I can, when you cut it out, you can obviously flip it over. If I take this and I, um, if I just do object transform reflect, hit OK. I can put these next to each other and have sort of a continued wave going through. I'm just going to zoom out so you can see that for a second. So there's lots of things you can do with this once you create it. Um, you can put them opposite each other like this. It really just depends on how you cut it. <clears throat> but it takes just a minute, and you can really be creative and come up with anything you like to uh, make your own wave border. So that's it. That's our training short um, in Illustrator. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more.